Now then, guys, when I'm doing windows like this, yeah, and I've got a young wife here, you can check it. I always like to put my level on, just double check. Obviously, the same set, they're both going up the same height, because obviously, some tiles can be sizey, do you know what I mean? So, we just get it on there, and on there. So yeah, it's just a little tip that. So obviously, you put him one wall up to another. Obviously, he's coming across. So obviously, that height, that side, is going to go second to that. I mean, you can because you can look it with this window. You can just keep checking the side. Do you know what I mean? When you're going up, but some windows are wider than others, so just got to bear that in mind. Um, yeah, every job's different. You know what I mean? Guys, when I'm doing windows like this. Got a young wife here, and you can check it. Always like to put my level on, just double check. Obviously, the same set, they're both going up the same height. Because obviously, some tiles can be sizey. Do you know what I mean? So we just got it on there, and on there, and uh, yeah, as you can see, yeah, it's level. So yeah, it's just a little tip that. So obviously, when you put him one wall up to another, obviously he's coming across. So obviously that height, that side, is going to go second to that. I mean you can because you can look it with this window. You can just keep checking either side. Do you know what I mean? When you're going up, but some windows are wider than others, so just got to bear that in mind. Um, yeah, every job's different. You know what I mean? Another quick tip here. Obviously this window's going to go up flat. So just get your level and just check it. Just check that you're flat against. You know what I mean? As you can see there, flat against. When it goes up, you want to keep keeping it same. Same on this side. So flat against. When it goes up, it wants to be the same going up part way up. And then you're going to have the same with the trim. It's going to be nice and flat. When you get it all mitered in, it'll go in lovely. You won't have to mess about cutting backs out of the trims. No, it won't be springing back, it'll just fit in lovely. Alright, we'll tip that. That's it. Work clean. The tiling tip is coming up there over the top of the door, of the window. Look over here. Yeah. So I've put a level line I'm going all the way across to the other point where we're tiling. So that is level. So also, when you're working out for our doors, obviously gauge out but make sure when it comes down to these narrow bits here, you've not just come off willy nilly, and that it ends up a piece. So you've got two pieces in there. Obviously, that works out. A decent cut above there, cutting to that side down there, and then you're not having two little pieces in there. So that's just the prep work, setting it out. Also, that line, because that's on there, when I'm marking this tile out for here. I can mark up the width of this up there, so that makes it easier as well. Push this drawer off. So I uh, went for a dark colour, so I went for the cast iron from the pad that pushes up lovely. So yeah, that's what you was doing like that. It's as near as black as you can get it. And it's better colour than black because it stays dark. That black looks very black. And then just on to uh, happen this up. I've also done the same colour inside the niche at the back of the cast iron. So this is going to be the uh, natural grey, I think the customers chose for this from the uh, tile master. So and just a couple of uh, pegs to take out there. Um, so I'm going to just let this dry again. We'll end up uh, putting my tools in the van now and then just leave up what I need for, uh, for 
out on these walls. So, uh, happy days, guys.